All right, folks, Steve Alcorn here again. I hope this video comes out good. Uh, I did the unboxing and it didn't come out good. So anyway, this is the uh, thing that I talked about on my last video that I got from shopgoodwill.com. Took forever. They took seven days to ship this thing, but I finally did get it. It is, let's see if we can get in there. I'm gonna focus that for you. Sony uh, Stereo CFD-5, which is in fact, the very first CD player uh, boombox. So this was manufactured in 86, I believe. Um, <clears throat> Shop Goodwill said that the, uh, they only had tested the radio function. They hadn't tested the CD player, the tape player, or and they said that only one speaker worked. But I plugged it in and powered it on. So it's plugged in. You can hear that noise. That's the tape player. The tape player, in fact, does not work. It just makes a lot of noise. So I don't know if it needs a new belt or what. You can see down here you got selections, tape, radio, line in, and CD. So we'll put it up on CD. When I first got it, this did not open, but it, it only did that. But now I got it working most of the time, so it will open. We're going to take my favorite testing CD, the Osman Brothers. Don't judge. We're gonna put her right in there. And there's no catch in there, so that's real floppy, but this thing at the top does catch. And we're gonna hit play. Now, I've been having some issues with it playing through for a full song. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that. I don't want uh, copyright infringement, so. It would usually get to about this point and then skip back to the beginning. So it's working better now. You can hear it skipping. See, now it's going to go back to the beginning of the song. So I'm going to have to figure that out. If I tap it sometimes, it works. I don't know. It didn't work at all when I first got it, so. Got that figured out. I used a little bit of contact cleaner. Sometimes if you just take the uh, CD out, put it back in and hit play, it works. And sometimes it doesn't work at all. So, that's an issue. See if it plays this time. Now see it wants to go through. So, I don't know. Uh, the radio function does work. We're gonna hit stop on that. I'll put the volume way low. Uh, let's go to radio. You can see that that red speaker works. Left speaker works. So the speakers do in fact work, and that's only like on two, so this thing gets super loud. On CD it's not so loud, but on this it is. So, so far everything seems to be in order. Um, the eject button is really tough to push, but it's, it was pretty dirty in there. I got it cleaned out most of the way. I think the belt's probably bad. I don't know if you can hear me over that radio, so we're going to turn it off. Anyway, so I... It's pretty dirty in there. Got it cleaned up pretty good with some contact cleaner, and we'll see if we can get it the rest of the way. But as of right now, it's on tape, okay? Yeah, nothing. No fast forward, no reverse. It has a tape sink. I think that's probably for. Um, it has to be on CD, and if I push that, the CD starts, and I think it's supposed to start recording, but obviously it's not working, so. Now the CD's working. I got it really low. Anyway, that is it. I paid $23 for this. Uh, shipped. I got the winning bid at $4.99. These go for, working, go for probably around $200. Uh, if I can get this completely working and fixed, that's what I'll list it at. The only issues besides what I showed you is obviously these things get broken. Uh, we'll turn it around to the back. The speakers look good and everything. There is a line in and there's all these. That's your line in. Battery compartment looks fantastic. I doubt there was ever any batteries in it. So that is that. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to look at it and make sure it's not all blurry and stuff. If you have any advice on 
getting that stop skipping, uh, let me know. And this one, I'll probably have to replace the belt, that's my guess. I don't want to take it apart. Uh, nobody's really looking for the cassette player part of this, and I can still get about 150 if the CD is working. So we'll see what we can do. And uh, that is my shopgoodwill.com find of the week, I guess. Thank you.